गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज आर फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन क्लास सिक्स इन क्लास सिक्स द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वॉट वी हैव टू लर्न इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू केमिस्ट्री आई होप यू मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड स्टार्टिंग इफ नॉट देन प्लीज स्टार्ट सीइंग योर बुक्स प्लीज गो थ्रू इट ओके the science we are learning from class 1 in the class 6th the science will be categorized in three different parts okay so first of all before we should go ahead let's discuss what is science here i'll be giving you two definitions you must be seeing in the screen in these two whatever easy you find you can write it in your notebook okay so what is science the definition of science is science is a study of the science is a study of the natural world based on facts learned through experiment and observation whenever the science words come it always comes in our mind that science without experiment observation interference it is incomplete so these are the related words in the science obviously whenever we are doing the science we need to be updated time to time we need to do the experiment we need to observe the things very very carefully okay then this one more definition i have written so let's go through this also the study of nature and behavior of natural things and the knowledge that we obtain through them is known as science here also what we are writing the study of nature means what we are learning in the science the nature we are learning about the nature the behavior of the nature and natural things about the knowledge what we obtain and many more thing okay so these are the two definitions you need to write it one which you think is convenient easy and which you can understand well okay now in the class 6 we have to learn chemistry so the science is divided into three different parts one is physics the second is chemistry the third is biology so let's have a before we should go move ahead to the chemistry that we have to go and study the uh, these chapters let us discuss a brief about what we will study in physics then what we will study in chemistry then what we will study in biology okay so let's start from biology in the biology we will be learning about the living thing in the biology we will be learning about the living things their internal parts and many more things in the physics in the physics we'll be learning about the scientific way of studying natural forces such as light sound electricity pressure and many more things now come to our point that is chemistry which we have to learn what we will learn in chemistry in the chemistry we will be learning about the structure the structure of a particular things structure of the particular things their properties and how it will behave when it will come 
in contact with some other substance. Okay. So once again, I'm repeating what we will learn in chemistry. In the chemistry, we'll be learning about the structure of particular things, the composition of particular things, their properties and how it will behave when it will come in contact with some other substance. Okay. So, let's move ahead. Now, what we have to learn is, next topic is chemistry. What is the meaning of the chemistry? And importance of chemistry in our life. Okay, before we should go move ahead, you are learning here chemistry in first time. But can you tell me that uh, this the, the things of the chemistry you have never used? And if you know that you have used ever, can you give me one example? Okay, okay, I'll be giving you. I'll be giving you the example, the toothpaste, the brush, the soap, the jams, the cakes, right? So all these things you are using in your daily life. So chemistry is nothing extra which you have to learn that is related with your daily life, right? So let's see once again. Chemistry is the science that deals with the study of substances, their composition, properties and their changes which they interact. Right. So, chemistry is dealing with composition, property and how they interact. You are using, as I discussed already, that we are using the chemistry in our daily life. The toothpaste, soap, jams, cakes, the utensils, the telecom powder, the cosmetics, all are the product given by the our chemistry. Even you know, your body, our body means human body is also made up of chemical so chemistry is there also now you'll ask how ma'am so the thing is you are eating the food you are eating the food but only eating the food will not provide you the energy eating the food will only not provide you the energy. Why? Because their composition is required with oxygen. Means breathing is required. And your body will not function when you will not take a proper sleep. So all these things are totally related with each other. And there every second in your body chemical reactions takes place. So, chemistry is very, very good, broad term. Now, we are introduced to chemistry, that word we will learn. This is the introduction chapter, introduction class. So, I will not make it very, very lengthy. Okay, students, I hope you understand all these things. We have not learnt much. We have learnt only what is science, the definition of science, whichever, the two definitions I have given, whichever you can feel that you can understand, that you need to write, copy down. I am giving this as a homework. First question is, what is science? Question number two, that science can be categorized in how many parts? Question number two. Question number three. What is 
chemistry. Okay, question number four. What is the meaning of chemistry and importance of chemistry in our daily life? Okay, that's it. Okay, students.